EA Sports. It's in the game. NASCAR Thunder 2003. Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2003. And this is going to be the beginning of a full length season that we're going to be doing, as you saw him yourself as soon as the video started Bobby Labonte and his absolutely gorgeous interstate batteries, Pontiac Grand Prix. And this was the final year that Joe Gibbs raced with Pontiac. They went on Chevy in 2003. And I know it's NASCAR Thunder 2003, but this is based off of the 2002 season. So Terry, Le Terry Labonte, Bobby Labonte won the championship in the year 2000 and he's on the, the disc of NASCAR Thunder 2002 and he's doing donuts at the end of the NASCAR Thunder 2002 intro with the Sweet Home Alabama of course. So we put it 36 races, legend difficulty, 10% race length, pit stops, damage, cautions, you know, the whole deal. The driving physics in this game, I don't vibe with them well. There's some tracks where I have to have a very specific setup to prevent the car from being too tight, but not so loose that I'm constantly almost spinning out. Um, one of those being Darlington. I am very scared of Darlington. That track is going to hurt me. And then there's Las Vegas, but that's a whole different deal. Las Vegas, the AI are unbalanced. They are so blatantly unbalanced, so you have to have a specific setup where you can keep up. But you need the draft to actually keep up. So, first off, the Daytona 500, Daytona International Speedway, of course. Uh, we'll be running the Gatorade Duels. We'll be qualifying in the season. Usually, I just start from the back. In some games, like, okay, let's go do and qualifying because we never qualify good. But there are so many tracks where I know I won't stand a chance unless I'm starting so at least in the middle of the field. Plus, I want to win a good few races so that I can actually use the other paint schemes. I don't have any of them unlocked. All I have is this one in the ugly-ass Muppets car. I'm Tom Cruise. Meet me at the Bristol Motor Speedway on Wednesday for the All-Star Race. I mean, look at me. I'm obviously Tom Cruise. I am JC1424, and I'm going to read you these rules, which you probably could have done like fucking 15 seconds ago. The Gatorade 125 determine the starting positions for the Daytona 500. First race, inside row. Second race, outside row. Blah, blah, blah. You already know this. You've watched my channel for five damn years. Okay. Mark Martin and Johnny Benson on the front row. I qualify 24th. You just saw that. I want to give you a cockpit view. I never do something like that in my videos. Start off with some cockpit view. But I thought that'd be interesting. I just threw it in there. Spur of the moment. We got five laps. And I'm going to check up this 37 car. Because I think that's 37 car. I don't know who drives that. This is David Green NASCAR Thunder 2004. Uh... Pur Purvis? Jeff Purvis? Jim Purvis? Something something Purvis. I remember him from What If Racing's uh, career mode Let's Play. But yes, I think I think him and Amy Hicks, they uh, really had a nice relationship that we got to dive into while he was doing those four seasons. Ter Terry, Terry, you're my brother. I expect more from you than this. You won a championship, and I just won a championship, and now you're showing me that it's time to retire soon. Oh my goodness. And I really think I'm going somewhere, and then Guy hits the brakes in front of me. It's Daytona. I don't need to hit the brakes. I, I haven't made any progress so far this race, have I? I mean, I could probably still win the Daytona 500 regardless where we start in it. Uh, y'all are stupid. Y'all try blocking when y'all aren't clear. Uh, also, no share draft in this game that did not come in until NASCAR Thunder 2004. There's a lot of cool things that didn't come into that game. Uh, they made some improvements as far as physics, sound. I don't like how this game sounds. It sounds like the engine is, it, it's in the grandstands and it's not in my car. Like I don't, 
I have listened closely throughout the years, and it's just like, what the hell, man? I actually just recently got this game. Recently being like, I guess, towards the end of 2018, because I knew I was going to want to do a Let's Play of it. Or maybe it was, it was like late 2017 before I started dating Kayla. And we are still together. And it has been an amazing, fun ride. Speaking of uh, Mark Martin, the guy who started this race on, on pole, I am guessing he would be one of the guys that's still going to be up front whenever we get to the actual race because of how the front row is. But um, we did a Let's Play of a game that is also based off the season that this game is, and that would be NASCAR Dirt Today Tona. And I did that Let's Play as Mark Martin. You know, the, the erection that lasts longer than four hours. I don't know if that Let's Play really lasts longer than four hours. I assume it did. But, uh, yeah, I, that was Viagra to hold your level right there. Lots of excitement all the way around. Uh, I barely won the title whenever I did that Let's Play. Almost lost it to Jeff Gordon, maybe? I don't remember. But, two laps to go in this side of the, the Gatorade Duel. It's not the Gatorade Duels, guys. It's not the Gatorade Duels. It is the Gatorade Duel. It is two races. Duel means two. You don't say Gatorade Duels because that one says four races. No, four races. It's two 125s. I mean, Gatorade 125s or Gatorade Duels. Not Duels. No, I, I heard someone say Duels one time and I lost my shit. Okay. Oh my god, I love this paint scheme. Ugh. I love this car. Well, those three guys Tony Stewart. Kurt Busch and Jeff Gordon. It looks like Kurt Busch. Black car with the red thing on the back of it. They're kind of hung out to dry. I don't think we're getting over there. Someone blew up. Yeah, all you had to do was run five laps and you blew up. Who is that? I can't see. I don't think they have indicators in this game either. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm not coming anymore. I was about to pass Kurt Busch, but Tony Stewart lined up in front of him. Eh, we were about half a car. About to pass him. Look how dirty this damn thing is already. We're about there for five laps, and I'm covered in bugs in front of the car. <laughs> it was Jeff Purvis. I thought it was. But I wasn't sure, so I didn't say anything. It was Jeff Purvis. <laughs> Well, here we are at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Winston Cup Series premier event. This is Joe Moore, and I'm with Barney Hall to bring you live flag-to-flag -flag coverage on MRN. With the history and prestige here at this track, the teams seem to be all pushing themselves just a little harder this week. There's no doubt about it. A lot of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers will tell you that it's really no different winning here than anywhere else. But those are the guys who haven't done it yet. Once their name is in the history books here, I guarantee you they'll change their mind. In 1993, Bobby Labonte finished second to Jeff Gordon in the Rookie of the Year battle. You know, that's a pretty good rookie class. At first, Gordon's accomplishments overshadowed Bobby's, but Labonte had been a solid contender for the title in each of the last few years. Dale Jarrett was part of one of the tightest point battles in NASCAR history in 1997. He ended up finishing second to Jeff Gordon. And he didn't finish second by much, only 14 points. And Mark Martin wasn't too far behind either. Those last couple of races in a season are pretty exciting when a championship is on the line. Steve Park has had some tough breaks during his still young Winston Cup career. He missed a bunch of races in both 98 and 2001 due to injury. Yes, and unfortunately those injuries cost him a shot at Rookie of the Year and his first top 10 points finish. But he's back now and as good as ever. Jimmy Johnson is the one that's on the pole. I was, I said Mark Martin, but yeah, I was on the outside row, so he was an outside row driver. Well, green flag is out for the Daytona 500, and we are underway for the 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup Series, racing as NASCAR legend Bobby Labonte.
Looks like Jimmy Johnson's already falling back. He's on the outside. I don't know how the hell he got in that position. He started on the bottom. Some guy in a black car is leading this thing. Uh, it might be Kevin Harvick because I know he has a black rear end in this game. And the front is like just a medium gray. I hate that paint job. I hate Kevin Harvick's 2002 paint job. I just don't like it. It feels like such a downgraded and sloppy look compared to what he had in 2001. And then 2003 comes around and, oh, oh my goodness, Kevin Harvick's 2003 car. All the way until 2006, or 2007, that was when it changed. But 2006 was the final year, and that car, ugh, those years, those four years, those beautiful years, that's why the 29 is iconic for me and Kevin Harvick, not the four cars, because of that damn car, that good wrench car, just so tribal and it kicks ass. Meanwhile, we're on lap three now, and I am going for second place on Jeff Burton and Michael Waltrip at the same time. Where's Dale Earnhardt Jr.? I don't recall passing him in the last race, and I don't recall seeing him at the beginning of this one. And he's supposed to be in contention here. Now I'm taking the lead from Kevin Harvick, and I'm making myself wish, and definitely you guys, wish that I'd start in last place and skip the Gatorade duel, making this a last of first challenge. But hey! I unlock a paint scheme, and I get to use it, like, I don't know, next race? I don't even know what paint scheme I unlock next. But I'm just going to block the best I can, try not to damage the car. And he's going. Kevin Harvick is passing me. On the outside! And I hit him. I don't know how I hit him, but I did. And we're still leading. Gosh, this freaking super speed racing is just shit. Got some cars coming off pit road. Took the pit stops at the end of lap seven. You know, I was planning on going around him, but I didn't think he was going to shoot up the track a little bit before going to the turn. And now he's holding up all those guys. I'm going to take my pit stop at the end of lap ten, halfway point. Here we come. Off of turn four. Now speed in. Dale, Dale fucking Jarrett. Oh my god! Dale Jarrett! There are rivalries I would kill you for even thinking that it was my fault! Oi! I'm like, okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I don't want to hit the brakes too early because he's right behind me. But then he just, he just pushes me! He's trying to win this race by pushing me into pit road. They would give him a penalty for that. Hey, I don't get penalty! Fuck this game. Stupid video game. I already hate this game! What the hell was that?! I'm not actually pissed off. But I'm just showing you how it would have felt if <laughs> they had penalized me for that shit. 16.7? I know they're capable of 15.3, because I practiced at Las Vegas a while ago, and they got a 15.3. And yet, somehow, I'm the first guy off pit road. So, Las Vegas, I got a really good pit stop. It's a shame I didn't finish better whenever I was doing that. Well, I'm going to run on the apron, because, I mean, that's where the AI are running. You don't get on the track until you're about to go in three. That's what the AI do. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. It's all weeble wobble. It's it's loopy. It's better physics than NASCAR Thunder 2002. Oh, this guy is coming. Who is this guy? I don't know who this is. Is that Rusty Wallace? That is Rusty Wallace. He's driving away with my day 2500. Bitch! Get back here! Ward Burton is exiting pit road. And I am checking up. And I'm going to draft with this guy. Unless someone passes me, we'll probably switch to them. We're going to see if we can get back to Rusty Wallace. Still got a ton of people pitting. Cars ahead of me, I'm guessing, like a lap down or... I don't know. I don't think they try, like, pit strategy or anything in this game. We've got all these same cars behind me, so, I mean, you can't think Dale Jarrett would be that dumb. Here's the owner Jr., by the way. These guys stacked up behind me, all packed together. Trying more burden, but you're kind of slow. But I gotta get somebody to get up there. Okay, so we're up to 16th, and those last few cars are on pit road. It doesn't seem that we're the leaders, though. Are you telling me that I could have won the Daytona 500? And I just went with the four tire thing because they do that in NASCAR Thunder 2004. They always take four tires. They don't do that in this game. That, that, I mean, it was kind of a slow pit stop. But I would assume that they all had the same length of pit stop because all these same guys came behind me. Well, we're seeing how this plays out now. Dang. 
I threw the Daytona 500 away. It's not garbage day, JC. It's not garbage day. Man. I'm sad. I feel stupid now. This is the one that watches me play this game. They've played it for years, and they're like, no, you can't just take four tires to Daytona. Not here, not in this situation. whoop the freaking do Uh. Draft off of Robbie Gordon, 31 car. I think that's who is in this game still. And then we'll track down Rusty Wallace. We'll still get a top 10. Get up to 8th. 8th in the first race of the season. Still, I mean, might have been a blunder, but if we still get a top 10, then it's good points. It, it just wasn't our race to win, you know? Like, it was a lesson learned. I'll remind myself whenever we come here for the night race to not throw the race away. Uh... I should have probably not passed Rusty Wallace. We just got behind him and pushed our way up there to those three cars up there. If there was a caution, that'd be nice. They do have the caution replays and shit in this game that finally came in. Um, I'm going to try to let this guy go and push our way back up there. I don't know if the whole bump draft thing and, and drafting actually gives you that much of an advantage on cars ahead of you. Because this sure as hell worked in NASCAR Thunder 2002. Damn it! Come on! I got a phone call, so I paused the game to decline the phone call because to let him know I'm busy. And then I get back into the game, we crash into the wall! Fuck! Oh my god! Oh my god! I hate this fucking game! You pause the game, and it did. It, it just has to. It just has to freaking just stop what you're doing. Well, we still got a top ten, but I was gonna get a top five. I was. We were working our way up there. We were gonna get it, but you. What, what, what this stupid fucking game is on? You pause that shit, and then whenever you press the buttons, it doesn't do anything for the next second. I'll see you guys in a few days, probably after I get back from the All Star race. We're gonna do the Subway 400 at North Carolina Speedway. A track that I love very much, and hopefully I, I really love in this game. Daytona, I'll see you again. And I'm winning that Pepsi 400. And this game's already got me in a bad fucking mood. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.